So now Cobb, Peach versus 4%. Probably Puff. Yay. Yep. Man, this, this matchup, matchup is actually sick. This matchup is nuts. So from what I understand, Puff can just like rest for days. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Puff just wins, wins the punish really hard. I feel like, as far as edge guarding and like carrying Peach off stage. Peach only gets like two or three hit combos maximum. This is one of the only matchups for Peach. Isn't like gets like the busted advantage of like oh I can hit the other character like ten times in a row but they can hit me like only twice. Yeah exactly. Now exactly. they both can only hit each other like twice. Yeah so Puff carries Peach all the way off stage. Puff rests Peach at low percent. But Peach also has them turn ups. And turn ups are really good. And really good pressure if they can put you know Puff in a disadvantageous situation. It's very hard to get out of the Peach pressure as Puff. Yeah definitely. So we'll see. Four percent obviously is the Second or first seed of the tournament, I think Drefin's second or first, and 4% is the other one, right? So I want to say Drefin's first because he's higher SSBM ranked. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, you know, they're, they're, I feel like they're pretty close. Well, they're pretty close, yeah. And regionally, we understand that they can, you know, go either way, so, yeah. They so. both won the matchup, I think, pretty well. Although, I don't know if 4% plays against a lot of Chiefs. Yeah. I, know, uh, I think they know each other pretty well from playing. That's fair. I just feel like Drefin definitely gets a decent amount of sheet practice. Yeah, so this would, be on Cobb to, this would be on Cobb to pull the upset. But he does, his homie Amita is like a really good puff. From he does play this matchup a lot. Yeah, so apparently he, he's pretty good at it. Yeah, so I can see that. I remember him and Fizzle playing very close earlier. Too, yeah, that was a so. good set. They were on top of each other. So this is going to be interesting. I want to see what he... Oh, a stitch right away. Is this first turn up? And he what does. Is he, did you see? He did the roll to turn up throw. So if you're in your shield and you start a roll and hit A, you'll throw the turn up behind you. Or the, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's crazy. It's really good out of shield when you have like something like that. Oh wow, he's so he's working. playing this. He's putting mass, work. Playing this aggressive or er, matchup very aggressively as Peach. Yeah, I feel like this is a good Peach stage. Maybe I'm wrong. Like he can definitely just pull turn up. Oh, nice. Like wow. Yeah. So it's pretty interesting how many turns he's getting to pull. Although we're gonna see now hopefully oh, four cool. percent. That was that was questionable, yeah, but it worked out. Yeah, it ended up working out. Alright, so quarter space. Oh, and he just forces him too yeah. low. That was great back air spacing. Yeah, great spacing. See like it seemed like he had such a lead, but Puff really just They has both it's like this is like the Fox Falco floaties matchups. Yeah, kind of. They, they just fuck each other up for no reason. Yeah. And like not a lot of other people oh. fuck up these characters, but I feel like when you know this matchup well, they actually hit each other pretty hard. Yeah. yeah. Just so cool. Okay, Wall of Pain here. Nice. It's over it. Yeah. It's scary to double jump at that point, but he knew. No, you need to, that's the, that's, you need to DI up and away and get the double jump in order to get over Puff. Because she doesn't have a lot of vertical momentum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when she's but it's used so, two But it's so scary. You got to really know what kind of DI is working, you know, like just in case you don't, you don't want to get clipped. Yeah, but... I just feel like people don't like to go up against Puff, but she has like no vertical momentum after she used like two jumps. Yeah, they true. Go half like half as high every time. Yeah. Cobb has this trick on the ledge where he does like a like a hack stash to like get his float back and then come back on her. Oh, okay. It. Is it the weapon thing? Um, I think it's like that. I don't really know. There's some weapon double jump tech oh, right here. Oh. 4% sharking underneath him. How is he going to get down? That was a really nice air dodge. Oh, Ooh. okay. This is actually how you play, I think, I think how you should play against Peach in general. Yeah, sharking and not letting her come yeah, down. Yeah, I don't think she has a lot of good downward momentum. Uh, like, she has down air, but it, it's, it gets beat out by a lot of moves. Yeah, Puff's up air is pretty good at sharking underneath people, too. And Puff's up air is sick. Oh. Okay. Wow. Nair's amazing in this match, apparently. Yeah. He's gotten both kill confirms off it. Yeah, well, it has a great knockback growth, so. Ooh. Ooh. Not too bad of a down smash, actually. Ooh. This is really that tight, That was really though. cool. I don't oh. get enough time to get the float off before the Nair. Oh, this is a tomahawk grab. Um... Man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, one down smash too many there. 
Yeah, I feel like Down Smash isn't that great in this matchup if you do it from the ground. You have to do it on a platform and kind of catch Puff. Ooh, and just not enough to confirm right there. Was that an up air? Up smash. Okay. Oh. I feel like he's not using a lot of F smash, and I feel like that could push Peach off pretty early. I feel like that spot dodge on the down on the uh, dash attack was definitely like a, a down air out of shield that he uh, didn't he missed his jump on. Yeah. Oh, Sharks underneath needs another up air. 152, not too bad. This is gonna be tough, but yeah, this is a hard. You know, Puff can do it. The rest is on the table now, so at least that's there. Yeah. He hasn't really gotten much. I know Amita is a rest master, so yeah. I'm sure Cobb knows all the secrets. I think he's playing very safe around it, and the fact that he's playing so aggressively is actually kind of doesn't really give uh, the Puff a lot of chances to think about or set up the rest. So he's kind of forced to just like trade and try to hit. Oh, yeah. Back here's the turn up there. Interesting. And the Nair. Wow. Okay. Great DI. That one was good DI. Man, Cobb is controlling a lot of space in these turnups, but... Ooh. Okay. Man, if he, wasn't, if he wasn't all the way on the other... Oh, this is bad, though. Oh, that was a really good shield. Yeah. Man, this is so tight. All he needs is an air. Oh, or a down or smash. smash. Yeah, there you go. Wow. Good stuff for yeah. Cobb. Flow cancel the down smash. Let's go. Yeah. Peach stuff. So, man. This would be a pretty big upset. Goes FD. I think. Uh, I mean, everyone likes. Everyone. Everyone likes to see the upset. Ooh, that was a cool near to grab. That's some Fox stuff. Yeah, that's weird. Flow cancel near to. Oh my god. This match was so cool. It's very weird. Oh, he, he just waits for that spot dodge. Oh, nice trade. Wow. Wow. Ooh. That was really slick. Slick up even. Yeah, he recovered perfectly. There was no other way. Oh, that's unfortunate that he had the turn up because he wanted to shield grab, I think. Wow, and I can't... Man, Puff Shield just barely surviving through that. That would be actually an interesting way to start beating Puff. You could uh, confirm enough shield damage on Pop off of the setup to just break your shield. That'd be an interesting way to kill her. Yeah, I've seen it before, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, Turn yeah. It's so hard that. for Sheik to get off the ledge, or Peach to get off the ledge. Yeah, she's not a great ledge game. Mainly due to her terrible double jump uh, start up. Yeah. So, 4% starting off a good lead, but Cobb definitely fighting back. Trying to shark with these up airs. I think it'll kill pretty early if he gets him up that high. Yeah, it's a pretty quick move, too. Decent hitbox as well, so hopefully... Yeah, and it's, out there's, out so much, there's so many times in the matchup where you have to settle for a grab, but it never gets you anything, really, you know? Yeah, that's actually an interesting point. Yeah, you can count for a shield a lot, because they don't really get much off of grabbing each other. Ooh, nice trade in there. 4% is probably okay with getting the damage, but Cobb is like, thank god I didn't get arrested. Or... Yeah, I think Cobb's definitely just trying to stay on stock. Because yeah. he can definitely stay a lot higher percent in the matchup. Where yeah. Puff's only going to get to like 100 or like 120. Ooh, and his recoveries have been very good. Yeah, he definitely so. is versed in the recoveries against this character. So yeah, living the high percent isn't really his issue. Cobb, oh, yeah, Cobb won the first game. Ooh, that forward smash must have been a mistake. Oh, nice. Ooh, that was cool. That was a weird hit of up smash. Down, down, oh, he gets the tumble for the down air. That's sick. Yeah, 4% is really good at confirming off of down air. He's, uh, I've seen him go for down air rest. <laughs> Grabs the turn up. Oh, oh, that combo! <laughs> that was sick. And let's see if he gets the recovery. I'm sure Shark with up air has got to watch for the air dodge. Oh, he messes up his movement a little bit. Yeah. But he still gets the arc. So the Shark, the yeah. This is similarly to, to last stock. Yeah, I think it's uh, Puff's aerial speed is one of the biggest things here. She can just get under Peach really quickly, like a lot quicker than most other characters. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh man. Shield poke down smash. Puff shield is very easily poked. So, oh, nice turnaround grab. Yeah, that's a good back air to grab. Oh, he still gets hit by that yeah. turn up, even though he hit it. Yeah. Oh, four percent is really tacking on this Ooh. lead now. That was what so a combo. cool. Oh, he barely slips under. Still gets the recovery. Yeah, four percent probably could cover that. Ooh, nice up smash. Wow. Yeah, now he's really laying it on. 
But that down smash will clean it up. Yeah, luckily that'll get him off the side. <laughs> roll, roll, roll. <laughs> Welcome to floating matchups. <laughs> yeah, can't really cover it unless you're, unless you're reading it pretty hard. Usually roll is just too far. Oh, four percent trades with a back air to send him off there. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to trade there. But I just wanted to beat him out with an air. Oh, very interesting. Huh, yeah, gets at least something off it. Yeah, I'm like, I like question if that really was a combo or not, but he knows, I'm sure. Yeah, I think it's just a DI trap, probably. Yeah. Try so. to use the double jump cancel. I love Peach's double jump cancel tech that people use. Not a lot of Peaches use it, but it's actually pretty good. You can get a lot of like uh, mix-ups in the way she's falling and the, where the aerial will come out. Oh, yeah, definitely. See how she kind of like jumps there and just gets a quicker fall. You can also start fastball from almost any point in your Ooh, jump. Ooh, nice near to down smash. That was so tight. Good timing. Oh, Ooh, nice dodge. That was insane. That was sick. I like that he's covering those whole like uh, vertical lines with turnips and then trying to force him to... Yeah, 4% has been working around it pretty well, though, I think. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, Cobb's really using fair much to like out space back air. He's just kind of trying to combo him with other things that will like each other. Up, up. Yeah, four percent's living way too long right now. I feel like that's definitely true. Yeah, he gets a lot of uh, room off his uh, boundaries. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Dot eye into dash attack. I'm curious if he meant wow, to grab that's, that. That's a quick forty-seven for this matchup. Wow, nice. Yeah, I think a lot of him, a lot of his uh, game plan here is just either going from a hit confirm into a turn up Ooh. or just getting the turn up. He wastes a stitch. I guess it's not a waste if you get a grab, but yeah, I, I prefer the uh, Armada uh, strategy when you get the stitch of just starting to throw out full cancel aerials until you get a pretty good confirm. Yeah, <laughs> Cobb's really brought this back though, but it's gonna be tough. Oh, yeah. Especially now that okay. he has no double jump. Now he's floating back. Doing the mix-ups. There we go. That was nice. Yeah, that was really tricky. I'm curious if you got an edge cancel there, because it was pretty quick off the ground. It might just be no landing lag. I think when you put the parasol down, you have like very, very little lag. But if the parasol's up, then it's very laggy. Okay. Wow, it caught. Ooh, wow. This could, oh, be, this could be the set right now. Ooh. This could be that the set. That turn up almost bounced off and hit him. This could be the set. He's definitely trying to get a turn up here. Cobb's like, I don't want to get a Always wants a turn up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Wow! Good stuff to Cobb. That was an Yo, that incredible was last stock. Let's go. Man. That was an incredible last stock. Very tough. Six minute game. Four percent is in losers. Dang. Someone's not gonna be happy with the four percent losers round. He is really good at that. Yeah, that's insane. Oh, copy four percent. Or George Weasley. 